many Vim users would say that VS Code is bloated. And well, 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 I'm a Vim user. Today I'm going to de-bloat VS Code. And what do I mean by that? Visually de-bloat VS Code. We see a lot of shit that we don't really need. For example, this menu, what are we using? Visual Studio or Writer or literally any other, in my opinion, bad app, which is just way too bloated with stuff that I don't really need, or at least would like to not have to use. So let's right click here and remove the menu bar. Great, it moves here. Now this, what is this menu even? First of all, the title of the window, when you click it, you see all the useful stuff, which you can actually access by just pressing Control P and then question mark. It will show everything that you need. So it's useful if you like to use your mouse, but I don't. So it's not useful to me. Let's right click and remove command center. Now it's just the title of the window. These I don't really need either because I can just press Control Shift P. Wait, for me it's uh, shift alt p but for you it will be control shift p and then open view great and we have everything that this would be um actually no i lied this would be customize layout and what i just showed you is something that you can type in yourself when you press control p and then view here you go you can type in, say, source control to jump there. Pretty useful. But only if you couldn't click here anyway. Kind of weird. So I'm going to remove that as well. Now these. Uh, a lot of apps will start putting stuff here. And it's the most annoying place to remove stuff from. For some, for some stuff, you'll have to do some magic. But usually just right click here and remove all of the stuff that you don't need, or we'll use a different method to reach. Great, Bre breadcrumbs. I personally use them a lot and I love them, but I understand that a lot of people actually hate them. So once again, Control Shift P and toggle breadcrumbs. By the way, yeah, they're called breadcrumbs. I still don't understand why, but that's what they're called. Great. Uh, the sidebar on the left side is actually suboptimal because it moves your code. So let's move it to the right. Great. Now it's in a, I would say, correct position in terms of usability because now you can open whatever you want without moving your code that much. Especially if you don't have uh, wrapping, then you'll be able to do this very easily. Now, there are a few things that I pretty much never use, like the Explorer. I actually have a few extensions to do what Explorer would let me do. So let's right click and hide Explorer. Great. The source control is telling me 10 pending changes. Hmm, it's kind of annoying me. Well, it's not, but obviously I'm saying it for the video. Bruh. So hide badge. Great. Okay, so say I try to remove literally everything in an attempt to remove this whole sidebar overall. So I also remove the menu, great, and the accounts. I can't remove anything else. How do I remove this whole thing? It's still t taking up place. Well, type in activity and toggle activity bar visibility. Boom, it's now gone. Great, now probably the biggest thing that's taking up the most of our space is the minimap. It's actually pretty useful, or at least it was to me before I started using Vim. So now it's not really useful. So let's go to our settings and type in minimap. We will want to disable it. Or the more reasonable option is to auto hide it when your mouse is not here, you will not see it, but once you do, it's now here. But I disable it overall. Boom, it's gone. But say you want to actually use the minimap. Well, let's remove auto hide. Use the minimap because what's the point of this scroll bar if I already have a scroll bar here? 
kind of weird, isn't it? So let's type in scroll bar, I guess. Editor scroll bar horizontal. You can either auto, whatever that means, or hidden, which is what I do. Ah, right. <laughs> this is the horizontal. Bruh, bruh. But we were talking about the vertical one. So let's hide that as well. Boom. It doesn't now exist. Let's go back and remove the minimap as well. Now it's disabled. Great. These things, I'm not sure what they are, and they disappear when I press them is quite weird. A thing that you can do in case you find any more of those annoyances is once again type in scroll bar and you can actually set the width to zero. Right now it's 14 but hidden. But you can also just set it to zero and that will do the same thing although I recommend just hiding it using the built-in option for it. Now let's go to a thing that I discovered like five minutes ago and is the reason why I recorded this video. This place where you put breakpoints, but I don't debug. I usually just read code and understand what's wrong. I don't use the debugger that often, so I want to remove it. So let's just type in glyph, which is a difficult word to type actually, glyph margin disable it. Boom. Amazing. Now, say I'm completely insane and I want to remove the numbers as well. Well, if you're not a Vim user, they're not actually that useful. So I could understand you on that front. Let's type in line numbers. I said then to relative, the default is obviously on, which are just absolute. I use relative. There are interval, which is interesting, but I don't really see the use. I guess it cleans up the place still, but you can just disable it and boom, even more place. The last thing that we're going to do is check out this, because once again, you can right click it and remove pretty much everything. But actually, all I'm seeing here, I actually find useful, or at least did the last time I checked. So, if you enjoyed this video, press a like, type some comment, maybe you have a question or suggestion. Definitely subscribe so you don't miss my content, but most importantly, stay fresh, cheese bags! And I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye!